welcome to Play PKN, the weekly video bulletin of the top news stories on PKN Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm the publisher, Lindy Hewson, and this week's bulletin is brought to you by Curry Group. Plastic recycling facilities are making headlines this week. First up, Pack Group and partners Clean Away Waste Management and Asahi Beverages turned the sod on Australia's biggest PET recycling joint venture, called Circular Plastics Australia PET, which is now under construction in Albury, Wodonga. When completed in October this year, two months ahead of schedule, this $45 million facility will be the largest end-to-end -end PET recycling plant in Australia, with capacity to recycle 1 billion 600 milliliter PET plastic bottles and produce more than 20,000 tonnes of new recycled PET bottles and food packaging. Importantly, it will increase the amount of locally sourced and recycled PET produced in Australia by two-thirds, from around 30,000 tonnes currently to over 50,000 tonnes. And from plastics to paper, skyrocketing shipping costs are impacting board and paper prices, with the nation's major printable material suppliers forced to introduce price rises from next month, which will range from 3 to 9%. The country's two biggest suppliers, Ball and & Doggett and Spices, both say they are unable to absorb the rapidly escalating costs, even with the stronger Aussie dollar. Shipping is under intense pressure, with a lack of containers, surging demand thanks to online shopping, and a consolidation of the industry overall. In other news, a new packaging industry salary survey will benchmark earnings and employment trends and also how the pandemic has affected working conditions for Australasian packaging professionals. The Australian Institute of Packaging is teaming up with IOPP and is calling on packaging in industry to participate. With just a few minutes of your time, you will contribute to this important annual salary survey. The link is available in the story under associations on our website, or you can head to the AIP's website at aipac.com.au. And HP Indigo is calling for entries in the prestigious Asia Pacific and Japan HP Inkspiration Awards, with two new categories covered, covering COVID-19 print. HP Inkspiration Awards 2021 will be recognizing creative ways that organizations have responded to the pandemic through digital printing. Two new categories will be introduced. The first is collateral supporting this unprecedented time in a commercial segment. And second is specialty print, supporting this unprecedented time in the labels segment. The awards are open to all HP Indigo Press users. Now, finally, and ahead of Valentine's Day, love is in the air and in the yogurt aisle, thanks to Chobani, which is living out its love affair with limited edition packs by sending Australia a Valentine in the Coles dairy aisle. The Valentine's Day flip lidding foil design features a left and right hand which form a love heart when joined as a pair across the twin pack presentation, creating strong on-shelf impact. The lidding foil is printed by Sydney-based Van Dyke Press. Also, the lid features the Australasian recycling label, ARL, showing that the foil can be scrunched into a ball and recycled. The plastic cup with in-mold labels also carries the ARL. Well, who needs roses for Valentine's Day when cute packaging will do the trick? For these, uh, stories and other news, head to our website on packagingnews.com.au. That's it from me for another week. Lindy Hewson, signing off.